Hello YouTube, Andy here again to review another bass guitar that I own. Um, I just want to start out by saying, as a disclaimer, I am not sponsored by anybody. Um, I'm not affiliated with any companies at all. Um, I own a lot of equipment that I have bought over the years and I play it and I've played them live, played them on recordings. Um, and so I, this is just my personal review and opinion of these, of these things uh, based on my experience. And believe me, if, if there's issues and criticisms, I'm going to tell you about them. I don't, you know, I have no vested interest in, in uh, fluffing up the, <laughs> the review. So anyhow, this bass today is the ESP LTD uh, B206SM, six string bass. Uh, these are still available. I purchased this one about 10 or 11 years ago. It was a 2011 or 2012, something like that. Uh, I purchased this bass. Um, I paid $429 for it at the time, which is just, it, it's so crazy, uh, considering what I'm gonna tell you about this. Um, I think they're $699 now. They might even be a little more with inflation. Um, but still, I think $699 is a good price for this bass. I don't think that's that's out of the uh, out of whack at all. Uh, so let's start out with the features, and then I'll talk, talk about some other things. <clears throat> this bass has a an ash body so it, right off the bat it features an ash body which ash lately is becoming a little bit more expensive and a little more rare uh, sometimes companies can't get ash in and that's from me talking to companies like Ernie Ball and Fender it has a spalted maple top so it's an actual top on there you can see this nice spalted pattern really beautiful it has a active electronics so it takes a battery it's got a six bolt on neck joint <clears throat> a pretty beefy bridge I think this is brass I'm not hundred percent if this is uh, brass or aluminum but it is a pretty beefy bridge you've got volume you've got pickup selector center notch both pickups and of course you can go forward for the, the neck pickup <clears throat> and all the way back for just the bridge pickup and get a real nice tight punchy sound. You can see the pickups are very close to the bridge, so this back pickup, you're gonna get a real nice tight punchy sound. And then uh, you've got your three band EQ, which is actually low, mid, and high um, on that. Um, you have a 24 fret neck, um, which is great. And it's a 35 inch scale bass, not a 34, which gives you a tighter B string and it really does make a difference. Um, I, I, the problem I've had with every five string bass I've ever owned, and I've owned quite a few, is that they're all 34 inch scale, the ones that I've owned, and uh, you get kind of a floppy, you know, B string, and it's always bothered me. Uh, but this with, with this bass, you don't get that. 35 inch scale is perfect. Now, it is a huge neck, um, as I'll show you, <clears throat> but we've got 24 frets, we got abalone inlays. That's a great feature I mean, these are beautiful um, abalone inlays it's a, a rosewood fretboard um, <clears throat> I believe that we have a <clears throat> five-piece neck and I think this is mahogany I'm, I'm not a hundred percent I can't remember you can you can look up the, the description <clears throat> uh, on musicians friend or Sweetwater or wherever but five-piece neck and it also has two truss rods. It's a double truss rod system because it's such a big neck. And so, and also we have a matching uh, spalted maple top for the headstock, which is super cool. Um, so between the five piece neck um, and the double truss rod, this neck is just as solid as a neck can be. I mean, I will tell you something that happened to this base and you can see right here, look at that. That's a big gouge. And uh, I don't know if you can see it here, but there's also, uh, it'd be really hard to see, there was a crack at the neck joint on both sides when this base was dropped. Um, this base suffered a catastrophic accident where it was literally, literally dropped on concrete on its head some years ago and chipped the head and there was actually a little bit of separation with the, the fretboard uh, right here. And 
course, my heart was broken. I took it to a luthier and he basically put a little bit of special glue in here and clamped it a little and put some glue in these little cracks down here in the neck joint and that's it. And this base, it, it never, it never had an issue. It, it did, the neck didn't break, the headstock didn't come off. It's just, it's as solid as a rock. It plays as good now or, or better than it did before the accident. And uh, that's saying a lot. Um, so if, if you were to have a custom base built, depending on, depending on who you took it to, and wanted all these features, an ash body, spalted maple top, active electronics, 24 frets, abalone inlays, double truss rods, five piece neck, you know, matching uh, 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 spalted maple top on the headstock, you're gonna pay probably thousands of dollars. I mean, I don't know, it depends on who you go to, but uh, this, is, this is incredible what you get for the money. I, this, this isn't just a great first six string bass for somebody. This is a great six string bass, period. Um, it, 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 you can achieve a really low action, and like I said, the strings are really tight. I can get a super low action with no fret buzz. I mean, it's just, it's amazing. Uh, this neck is just awesome. And uh, I'm not a great six string player, and as I've indicated in some of my other videos, I don't have a way to record bass sound that well right now, and so I'm trying to figure that out. I'm still new to the YouTube video making, but uh, anyways, this bass, for the money, once again, is absolutely awesome. Just like that Squire Classic Vibe 51P bass review that I did, this bass is built in Indonesia. And once again, whatever they're doing in Indonesia, they're doing it right. Uh, this thing is simply awesome. So there's my review. Um, I don't really have any issues with it other than the, the pickups uh, are active, but they're pretty low output. That doesn't bother me because if you've got an amp, you can turn the gain up. You've got effects pedals. You could boost the sound so many different ways nowadays that uh, that, that doesn't bother me one bit. But it, they are quite different than another active bass that where they're much louder, especially the new active basses nowadays that are doing 18 volt, you know, preamps for massive headroom and stuff like that. So, but uh, I've checked this bass out. If you're interested in a six string, if it's six or $700, depending on where you go, it is well worth it. 24 fret, abalone inlays, double truss rods, uh, just as a, a tank of a bass. The big criticism with this bass before I go is that there's a, it's very neck divey. I mean, this neck is so massive that when you put it on, it, it really does neck dive because the body's a little bit smaller. There's not as much weight down here. Um, so that's something to consider, neck dive. But honestly, if you have your strap up kind of high so you can do some chordal stuff up here, um, probably not gonna notice it that much. Uh, so. ESP LTD B206SM six string bass. Absolutely awesome. Five stars for me. Thanks for watching.